So I was in the process of posting the load development uh, uh, video stuff and I was checking my messages that some of you have sent me on, uh, on YouTube and uh, coincidentally several of you asked what type of bipods I use. Well, I use one kind. Um, now that's not to say that I don't actually own other ones because I do and I like them but uh, the one that I like the most now this is my personal preference is the Caldwell bipod now the big difference here this one pivots when I built this rifle I didn't have a bipod for it so I robbed one off of another rifle and thanks to all the support uh, that through Patreon and stuff, I was able to purchase this one. Just came today. And yes, it's Sunday. Amazon Prime. If you don't have it, you should get it. Um, the big difference really is, and these here, I wrote it up here for you. Uh, this is the Coldwell uh, XLA Bipod 6 to 9 inch, the pivot model. And the pivot is probably the most important if you're going to shoot long range reason being is you have to make sure your gun is level and let's all you know let's face it the ground that we shoot on when we're hunting or long-range shooting is not very level in most cases uh, unless you're at a range right so um, when, when I'm out in the woods hunting uh, most time on I'm on uneven ground and it's really hard to get the legs set up just perfectly right I mean you can do it but it also takes a lot of time um, and, you know, in the meantime, your deer, elk, bear, whatever you're shooting at is walking away. Um, so I like the pivot model, and you can adjust the tension on that. We'll show you here in a second. Uh, so that you can just whoop, cant the rifle a little bit, watch your scope level, get that thing level, and it's, it's fairly locked in there. So uh, now I do own a Harris, um, and I own several Caldwell. Um, I have beat these things to death except they're not dead. They keep working, and they work really good. Uh, these things are half the price, literally half the price of a Harris, and I'm not knocking Harris. Harris has a good bipod, but I've owned a Caldwell and a Harris for years, and they work equally as well years later. So why would I spend the extra money twice the price when I can get one of these? Um, Let's get this. Uh, let's get this new one mounted up here, and I'll show you kind of how it works. Let's look at this up close first before we put this on the gun. A couple things. Uh, <clears throat> real nice padding here, and real, real nice soft, almost, almost felt like. Uh, so it's not going to mar up the stock if you have a real nice stock. Um, this here clips onto your. Uh, your eyelet for your sling and of course like most of them they have the adjustment knob to, to tighten that up and then here you've got the holes so that you can remount your sling to that if you don't have a double eyelet system on your stock which in my case I don't so I'll just use that one nice thing is is that sort of locks everything up now the pivot model with this adjustment knob right here uh, this adjusts the tension when you cant the rifle. So this will be locked in up here on the rifle and if it's a little bit loose, too easy to move, you can simply reach up and just tighten that knob up and it'll become harder and harder to turn or if you don't like it that way you can easily back that off. So uh, very nice. Of course <clears throat> spring loaded. Fold these forward up out of your way and spring loaded very cool now you can just drop those back down they lock into several positions here and or you can lock them all the way back in very very simple to use quality built um, like I said I've, I've, I own several um, and they have been really really good these Caldwells are just they're just good, good quality material here. I like these. Um, 
I've heard if you don't like the little rubber feet that you can get some spikes. Uh, there is a roll pin. Each one of these has a roll pin. I believe you can drive those out, put on different uh, different ends. I've never had a problem with these personally. Um, I just learned to use them and they work fine. So, but you know, if you want spikes or you know trinkets and stuff, then fine, go get some. So, um, let's get this thing on the gun. So, with this particular one here, uh, this actually just came off of a tw my boy's twenty two, one of his twenty twos, um, and you you cannot you cannot pivot this at all. What you can do, of course, is if you're on uneven ground, is lock it into you know a different spot or whatever. Um, but it's it's not the best. I mean, it's it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's it's good quality. So um, let's uh, let's take this off here. So here's your knob right here. Just back this thing out comes right out and this one here is just going to clip right in. Oh, you know what? <laughs> to be honest, I never really paid much attention to that. I think I just said I didn't have two of these and I do and I must have been thinking of one of my other rifles, but I do. Either way, I don't use them both. So once you back this off, you've got Probably going to be kind of hard. Oops! Oh, don't break my gun. Probably going to be kind of hard to see, but you've got your two your two pieces here, and they just lock in there. And then, of course, this sets the tension on that. So the feet go forward toward the end of the muzzle. Oops. Okay. So we'll just tension these up here, wiggle this around a little bit, make sure we're nice and snug here, and we are. Now you can see this thing pivoting already, so let me show you how this works. Now <clears throat> notice the gun just sort of flops over right there. Uh, if you like it that loose, that's fine, but you can come right up underneath here, grab that knob I was talking about and start setting that tension. Now, eh, a little bit more, okay, now it's not flopping, it stays, eh, I want to put a little bit more tension on there, just personal preference, so that thing will stay wherever you decide to put it. Just a little bit more for me. I like them pretty stiff actually, just to re really I want to have to, I want to have to forcefully move that. So there we go. That's as simple as that. Uh, Caldwell, good products. Um, half the price. I really like them. So uh, if you want one, check the link below. I'll leave the affiliate link again. Supports the channel. Doesn't cost you a dime extra. So I hope that helps you guys out. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with some more stuff.